Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to talk about relying on feelings of conviction. In the past, I learned about this concept of conviction. The idea that a person would feel a certain feeling and then assume that that feeling must be coming from a spiritual source, that it must be coming from Elohim. And then that the message was behind that feeling was that they had either done something wrong or they needed to go do something or else they would be doing something wrong. And now I believe that there can be such messages, that there can be messages from Elohim that manifest as feelings. I absolutely agree with that. However, as we know, these feelings that people call conviction they do not manifest in a consistent way. That the guidance of what people call conviction is not consistent across the entire population that feels it. And we probably heard from people before that, well, I'm not going to follow the commands even though I believe in the same Creator. I'm not going to follow what He considers good and right in His sight because I don't feel convicted to do it. Or we may have heard people say that they feel convicted to do something or to not do something that is not even prohibited. Like, for example, I met someone in the past that they were, uh, they believed in LDS type beliefs, and so they have the belief about alcohol. And he was going on and on about how he believed that alcohol was wrong and that he was feeling convicted about drinking. But, as we know, that's not actually a command in the Torah that people aren't prohibited in general from drinking. And so these feelings that come up, these feelings of conviction, they may or may not be what people think they are all the time. That we have to be careful about the source, and that we may not be quite as discerning of the source of these things as we might want to think we are. So even though some of them might come from Elohim, some of them might be from a different source, from our previous learnings. The fact is that a lot of times we will learn something and we build up a belief around that learning. And then if something comes along in the future and it conflicts with that belief, our natural tendency is to feel a certain way to feel that conflict about that, to feel like something is wrong. And so we might think that, well, that doesn't line up with what I've heard before, and so it must not actually be right. So, you know, I'm feeling compelled to do this other thing instead, for example. Or maybe we hear now that there's something that we thought was wrong in the past, but now we realize it's not prohibited by the Torah. And so we may still feel like, well, I don't know. Uh, I still think that it's probably wrong. I just don't know how the Torah teaches against it yet. Or there may be something that is required by the Torah, but that we may have placed no emphasis on in the past. We may have had no beliefs, or we may have had beliefs that these things weren't important, things like our clothes or things like the things that we eat. And so these feelings may get in the way of us learning something that we should be learning. Because how is it that the Torah is supposed to be learned according to the commands themselves? There is supposed to be a seven-year reading of the Torah where everyone gathers and they learn how to fear Elohim. They learn how to do his commands, that they are learning what is good and right in his sight that we are supposed to learn the Torah from the Torah. We are not supposed to learn the Torah just based upon the feelings of our heart, such as it says in Deuteronomy 29, 19, that we're not just kneeling to ourselves and saying that we have peace because we're walking according to the dictates of our heart, and that we're not going to be exploring after our eyes and after our heart, like it says in Numbers 15, 37 through 41. So this is something to consider because while all of us probably agree that 
You know, we're, we don't want to be adding to the law. We don't want to be taking away from the law. All of us probably know these commands in Deuteronomy 4.2 and Deuteronomy 12.32, and we intend to follow them. The problem is that very few people deliberately violate these commands if they believe in the Torah. Very few people will actually say, oh, okay, I'm adding to the law, and I continue, I'm going to continue doing it, or I know this is taking away from the law, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, very few people proceed in that way. But instead, we may feel convicted about something. These previous things that we learned as supposedly being wrong, we may still have that feeling from those previous beliefs. And we might feel like we're convicted to not do something, or that we're convicted that doing something would be wrong. And so our natural assumption is going to be, that must somehow be a part of the commands. And as a result, we might end up adding to the law unintentionally. And the same thing can go on with regard to not feeling convicted, that maybe the Torah places importance on something that we don't. And so we don't feel convicted, and we may unintentionally take away from the law and assume that must not be what's intended because of the way that I feel. And I'm sure that none of us do this intentionally, but it's something that we have to guard ourselves on. Because I'm sure that we can see these types of things going on out there. We can see this type of thing, especially when people just outright reject the law. We can see that going on out there. But like with a lot of things that we consider, we also have to think that maybe if we're seeing it out there, we might have something that we can also learn from that. That maybe we aren't doing exactly that same thing, but maybe there is something of value that we can gain from it, that we can gain from what we see others doing. And so I recommend that we guard ourselves, that we be cautious about these feelings. Some feelings may be from Elohim. They may actually be messages. But we have to be very cautious and discerning about this because we may not have the ability to discern it that maybe we once hoped that we did. So we have to be cautious and think maybe this is just previous beliefs coming up. Maybe I do need to learn a new way. Maybe I do need to pay attention to what the Torah says and change my beliefs as a result. Thanks for watching and Remember the commands. Shalom.